welcome to my channel and in today's video I am so happy to announce you that I finally left Russia. Actually it's been a while since I left Russia but I kind of suck at making videos lately. So obviously the biggest reason for me to leave was the war that Russia started in Ukraine. It's a horrible war and I obviously don't support it. I thought it was impossible for me to leave. I've never been abroad, I'm 19, I don't have any education. At that time I like barely started my YouTube channel. But the time was passing by and the war didn't stop. I started seeing more and more Z signs, which is like a sign of Russian propaganda, like in support of this war or how they call it special military operation i just felt like i'm going crazy in there every time when i walk outside i see those billboards i see those people wearing z t-shirts i see cars with z signs all over them and i'm like what is going on am i living in dystopia what is happening i just can't live there anymore it just seems like everybody supports it and I'm like, how can it be possible when at school everybody was telling us about like Second World War and telling us how horrible war is and now they target it as like such a great thing and they're like freeing someone from somebody. I'm not sure even what they're doing there. I'm sure that they're killing a bunch of people. And the Russia where I grew up is not the same anymore. I knew that I want to leave and I knew that I wanted to leave Russia even before the war started. I just kind of had this idea in my mind for a long time that I want to move to like more developed country, but I didn't know that it would happen so soon. I thought that I had time, but actually I did not and I had to escape right now and I'm so thankful that I had this opportunity to escape because I know a lot of people who can't. A lot of people just don't have any money to move and I'm so thankful that I have my YouTube channel and I had an opportunity to leave. Thank fucking God. The key point uh, when I knew that I'm leaving Russia was in September when mobilization started. I knew that I'm gonna leave Russia. Obviously I'm female and I can't get mobilized. I'm not a medical worker or anything like that. But I just knew that this is the moment where I should leave. Because, like, you know, the last time when mobilization happened was the Second World War. So things got harsh. So it took me about a month to wrap things up in Russia and quit my job, drop out of college, visit my hometown again. I am done with my college, not in the way that I want to, but I just took my diploma from school that they keep in college, so now I'm free. This whole month I was so fucking anxious. I thought, what if they will close the borders? What if, you know, second mobilization will start? What if, I don't know, it would be impossible to leave or something like that? I was just so so scared that I wouldn't make it in time. My mental health was not okay that month. It's still not okay. Some people have been asking me like, what country are you going to? And um, I'm not gonna surprise you with this one. It is Georgia, the country Georgia, not the States, because I have a shitty Russian passport that doesn't allow me to go anywhere. So Tbilisi, Georgia was my obvious choice because I can stay there for a year visa-free. Also, my friends are there and this was a huge point. I quite like it so far here, mostly because I don't see Z signs on the streets anymore. Instead of them, I see Ukrainian flags. Another thing that I also like here that I can go to the protest. Recently, I went to the protest to support Ukraine and to show Georgian people that Russians who are here in Georgia are against the war and uh, this is very important as I think. So we were on the protest in Tbilisi, Georgia, anti-war protest. What are your impressions? Well, it, it was my third uh, rally here in Georgia and um, 
I am used to it, but this time it was even more exciting for me. Like I made a video about Volunteers Belize, an organization that helps Ukrainian refugees, and they are also standing here today and they're collecting donations. And the organizer of this organization came up to me and said thanks, uh, like for participating, for your help. So. I felt really great that I'm grateful and they're grateful to me. It was so cool. And I felt just a lot of love and support. And this is my first protest, actually. Finally, I escaped Russia and could go to the protest and not end up in jail after that. So this is freedom. Yes. That's how freedom feels. Uh, why you didn't go to protest in Russia? Like, because there were no protests? Well, there were protests, but people end up being beaten up, put into a car, and put into jail after that. I was just scared for my life. And here, when I can safely go to the protest, I obviously went. So, other reason why I decided to leave Russia was the fact that Russia is cut off from SWIFT and it was almost impossible to get my money from YouTube and now it's all good. A little part of vlog-ish type of video from the mall. When I visited the half a empty H&M, you know, it's also left Russia as a lot of other companies. So I thought that you might be interested in watching it. They have a 70% sale on everything and they barely have anything in the store so it's like almost empty and there's like a few pairs of jeans a few were like t-shirts or something and i bought a necklace i wanted to buy something there so this is it very straight feels like we're back in old days when h&m was still open but yeah that's so weird and at the cash register i saw that um, like a little sign that says that H&M is closing on the 30s of September and it's like it's your last chance to buy whatever is left they have very few workers in there I find it funny that there were like a crowd of grandmas shopping for bucket hats that that is crazy I have never seen any grandmas in H&M and they are always just standing there shopping for bucket hats that's insane shit. and there are very few like very very young girls shopping for like lip glosses there were a few rings there were bath bombs and they're trying to get it at least in Havara is getting something from H&M is like somewhat fancy As you can see, Adidas is gone, Reebok is gone, but Russian brand Be Free is standing strong. Actually, New Yorker is still there. I wonder if it's Russian or not. Those t-shirts perfectly describe my mood. I'm getting that one. Loki want to wear it in Georgia. And shout out to my viewers from Nevada. I'm a New Yorker and they have US themed things. And Bershka is gone forever. Poland Bear is closed, but apparently they're open at the website and you can order something on the website. Zara is closed, Stradivarius is closed. It's really sad that the stores are closed and people are shopping Russian brands. And it shows a lot that the stores are closed. And just the whole mood of hopelessness. I also wanted to tell you my trip, my leaving Russia journey. So the thing is, I've never been abroad before. And the first time I went abroad was when I left Russia. 
I think it's kind of funny and also it's a pretty unique situation. Um, maybe it's a good thing because I have nothing to compare it with. The only country where I've been is Georgia. So how I went to Georgia. At first I had to fly from Khabarovsk to Moscow, which is a seven hour flight. Okay, that was harsh. That was full of anxiety. And then there's no direct flights to Georgia. So I went through Armenia. So maybe I can say that I've been to Armenia for 30 minutes. The plane went from uh, Moscow to Armenia, then it stayed there for half an hour. And then this, the same plane went to Georgia. That was pretty convenient, even though tickets were expensive. I didn't go with that like a few days after mobilization when tickets were like crazy expensive. I waited some time, but still they were kind of like overpriced. Also, I spent a few days in Moscow, which was kind of nice. My second time in Moscow. The biggest thing that I like in Georgia is that there's a bunch of cats everywhere. Uh, well, technically it's like a problem that there's so many homeless pets all everywhere and they're not only cats, they're also dogs. And they're all really like nice to you. They're all like not afraid of people and you can pet them. So that makes my life a bit happier. I'm a huge cat lover. Dogs are kind of okay for me, but cats are everything. You know, it's, it's so nice when you walk outside every day and you pet like at least two cats. And they're also really cute. They're like sitting on the cars and yeah, they're really photogenic. So my phone gallery kind of looks like this and I don't mind it. Also, I already found a few nice places with coffee, with, you know, pumpkin spice lattes, all of that stuff that I like and the food, the food is really good. So yeah, everything has changed like crazy in my life. So I don't know where I'm going to be next year. I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, for now, I'm just staying in Georgia, being safe and sound, you know. Life is crazy. But what I know for sure is that I will keep making videos on YouTube. Um, I know that I haven't been productive lately, but I will post videos, I swear. Пончик. Пончик. So yeah, I think that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your donations. See you in the next one. Bye.